Right? <laughs> the Luxo lands right. on Bambushka. <laughs> Alright, another pass. Man, look at look at these. Let me get this angle right. Look at these cylinders. Wow, that is heinous. That is insane. Now, don't get me wrong. Most vehicles are going to be uh, charred remains at this point. Probably with just one pass. If I had to, if I had to imagine. Ow! 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 Alright guys, how's it going? Azinium and General here today with you. Uh, how's it going, General? Uh, it's going good. Go ahead and tell them uh, what this one's about as we come in for a landing. So, in, uh, in our recent videos, we've been showing one particular plane called the Bambushka. I decided we should probably do a tutorial before people start asking what plane is General flying, or how do I get the plane General's flying? <clears throat> and so, that is a fair question. Sorry, buddy, continue. <laughs> God. I forgot what I was saying. Rip General oh, 20. So I just... I... I decided we should probably show them how to get the discount price for it, how much it's really going to cost them without the discount price, um, and the two certain ways they should upgrade this plane. Now that sounds pretty good. All right. Pretty good, guys. All right, let's jump right into this bad boy. Yeah. All right, these are the two bambushkas. The closest one is meant for carrying vehicles in the cargo bay. It's nice. Uh, it's got very minimal uh, upgrades allowed before uh, they put an invisible barrier into the cargo bay, so you can't get into it without like crashing. Yeah, and, and uh, then the farthest one has weapon upgrades, uh, countermeasures, livery, uh, Jado boost, and all that fancy stuff. And that one's weaponized, so it doesn't really matter uh, what goes into it. Because it's no longer able, from what I understand, to pick up, unfortunately, the, uh, the cargo. Uh, am I correct on saying that, General? Uh, the one with upgraded weapons, yes. Yes, okay. They're both weaponized. Yeah. Oh, okay. The one with upgraded weapons, you can't. Then. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I think they're both really, really nice. Um, yeah, I, I think that, uh, you know, you can definitely do a lot of stuff with them. You, you've seen us uh, deliver and haul cars with it. They're really nice uh, airplanes. Um, okay, cool, yeah. Alright, guys, um, we are ready. This is the first uh, point right here. Uh, we are having uh, General do a quick test run on this air this airplane. As you can see, very, very beautiful uh, small aircraft. Um, this is just kind of to give everyone a side view of what carnage this thing is capable of, by the way. So, holy fuck. Oh, I excuse the language. I just was pretty surprised. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I accidentally hit the Jado on that one. And it kept lifting up and up. And I'm like, I'm like pushing my nose all the way down trying to stay in line. Well, I mean, the airplane went flying. So... Wow, I apologize for that, guys. All right, let's go ahead and now uh, go to the insurgents really quickly. Uh, now you really wanted to bomb this car, didn't you? 
<laughs> I could feel no. it in your blood. <laughs> wow, I really sent that plane flying. Yeah! It is in a completely different area from where you parked it. Oh yeah. As I just wasn't right. expecting, it just took Airman and flipped. I was like, what the heck? Wow. That was intense. Alright, he's making another pass. Alright, General is coming in for a uh, another pass. Now, this vehicle is bomb resistant, so... Uh, it's gonna take a little bit, but I mean, look at that sheer terror that this thing can do. The freaking Bambushka, guys. Wow. What did you say that meant? Grandmother of all bombs or something like that? Well, um, because it's a Russian plane, I think Mamushka is grandmother or something like that. Yeah. And then because it's called Bambushka, I just it's going to blow! put those together and it's like grandmother of bombers. Wow. Things freaking crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Alright, he's coming mm -hmm. in for a another pass. Look at the look at these little little terror cylinders. Holy cow man. Wow. Oh god. Please, please helicopter. Do I really have to nuts. call off that call luster? The only thing I don't like about this plane is if you're not high enough, the police helicopters will literally try to land on your wing. Yeah, I saw that earlier. It's um, so bad. It's so large that it's like the AI thinks you can actually land on it. That's pretty great. Which I'm sure you can, but... Technically, you probably could. That is definitely something that's going to be on TikTok at some point. Right? <laughs> The Luxo lands right. on Bambushka. <laughs> All right, another pass. Man, look at look at these. Let me get this angle right. Look at these cylinders. Wow, that is heinous. That is insane. Now, don't get me wrong. Most vehicles are going to be uh, charred remains at this point. Probably with just one pass. If I had to, if I had to imagine. Ow! 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 that hurt <laughs> this vehicle that was parked surprisingly close has survived by the way let me get out of that oh please don't crash oh oh boy we better get back in or we're gonna be toast we don't want to be toast yep. guys all right here he comes coming in for another pass let's go ahead and kind of get a nice angle like this you can see both vehicles Yep. One hit. One hit wonder. That's what that thing is. Pretty crazy. Wow. Alright guys, here we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, and that is it for me guys. Wow, that's actually... That was actually surprisingly a small amount of... Uh, a, a small amount of bombs to take down the insurgent. I'm actually pretty impressed. Holy cow. Because you only made, what, only a couple passes in reality. Yeah, and I didn't, I wasn't very accurate, and I missed a few. Yeah, wow, holy cow. Wow. That was insane. Okay, guys. I assume you know how to take off the VTOL. Or not VTOL, but ATOL. Um, I don't know what an ATOL is, but, uh... JTOL. JTOL. But uh, guys, we are going to be doing the test for the uh, sniper, or it's not really a sniper, but it's the guns that this thing um, has. Uh, we have the insurgent down there uh, as a very, very nice target. <clears throat> How do I do the you super takeoff? You are going to crash. Are you, you sure about that? You have to be stopped. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you're lucky. <laughs> I am though. That was a pretty lucky maneuver. Okay, if I can actually get the right gun. Okay, so we're um, gonna have to make uh, quite the heck of a turn with this bad boy. Don't hit that radio tower. Don't hit the radio tower. I'm pretty okay. far away from it on my screen. You the wing left of my screen. Oh wow. Landing yeah, gear no. is down by the way. Oh my bad. 
no wonder my uh, my uh, my circle is so large. It's pretty concerned there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make a bit of a pass. Okay, here we go. Coming up to the insurgent. It's one hit, two hit, three hit, four hit, five, six, seven, eight. That thing looks like it's on fire. Nine. Feel free to uh, show them just 10, the devastation. Eleven. Oh wow, you're still 12, able to shoot it from this distance. Thirteen. Impressive. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oh. Sixteen. That's gone. I think sixteen is a pretty solid number for uh, for high high density uh, vehicles. Go ahead and show them. Yeah, the absolute destructive power of just the gun on this vehicle. Wow, wow. And what did you say this specific gun uh, attachment was? Uh, dual fifty cal turret. Dual fifty oh, wow. cal turret. Yeah, wow. it's, it's explosive. That is insane. Look at these cars just fly. Man, this is very intense. Yeah, 16 is a is a good number in this game. Uh, we found out that uh, bulletproof windows, 16 shots, 16 shots with this thing to the insurgent, which you know a normal car isn't going to hold up to that. A normal car is probably going to either fly or detonate on the first or second shot. Nonetheless, the unless there's some sort of armor on the vehicle. Uh, then basically, I think uh, the driver on the inside would just be killed on upon impact. Uh, does that sound about right, General? Driver in a vehicle, uh, when hit with this, would probably be killed upon impact. Uh, I think so. Seemingly, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm observing. You know, because those those cop cars are uh, okay. I guess and we're landing here. Here we go. So uh, the nice thing about this is if you hit something, you don't explode most of the time. Usually you just bounce and then land. Oh wow, we have a lot of heat on us. I kill for a living, great. Great to know. And I am now dead. Ow, the pain is real. Scooby doo beep bop boop all right, we're going after a couple targets right now, guys. Uh, you'll have to excuse my... Uh, sign of... Sign? Yeah, I Please know. Please don't crash my plane I know, again. I know, sign, sign, everywhere's a sign blocking out the scenery and breaking your plane, causing it to bounce all throughout time. Uh, anyways. There's one target. We're, uh, we're taking down these targets as one last demonstration of uh, power. Yep. Uh, we're coming up on another target here. All right, here we go. Target number two. Nice. All right, we need to get out of He's this already down. military, smilitary, uh, airspace. Oh, nope, we're in this military airspace, huh? Great. Yep. Probably not. Not a good thing. I am thing. looking for jets. Okay, target number what three. What are you doing? Uh, have you ever heard of the pizza roll? It's a dance. Pizza roll, pizza, 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 pizza roll. That's what I'm doing right now, the pizza roll. But uh, what I We're should be range. doing is uh, trying to take down this target instead of doing the pizza roll. You are making it very hard to aim right now, Saibo. I'm working on trying to... You're, you're working really hard on making it super hard to aim. I, I know, I, so I do realize that. I, I understand. Down. See? See, I knew exactly what I was doing. You're completely uh -huh. fine. Sure. Even though we've nearly stalled out the entire plane multiple times at this point. Oh, oh no. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> good God. We're good. Um, is it normal for the engines to be smoking like that? Is that a normal thing? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's, it's because of the engine type. Ah, okay. We're running a little bit of so that. They, they, sh they show diesel. more heat than other ones will. I gotcha. 
All right, we're gonna go in for the last kill, guys, and show that this thing is just a beast and a half times two. All right, we are on our last target, and you it looks like we've lost a thrust of some sort. You should probably take them out. Hit acceleration. We're Hit fine. Acceleration. We're fine. Acceleration. Cyber. Oh, acceleration, acceleration. Uh, you might be right though. We might Start the plane back up, Cyber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Such a giant. <laughs> oh, come Am on. Am I even shooting in the right area? I don't know. I can't tell, dude. Alright, we're right here. Did you just stall the plane again? No. We're fine. It really sounds like it. Oh my god, dude. Just, just calm down. Oh, we took him out. See? See? We are a winner. Do you feel like a winner? No. <laughs> I'm not with you being the pilot. <laughs> we're perfectly fine, General. You uh, realize we're going down instead of up right now? Yeah, I can, I can feel that. Because of engine stall? Yeah, it feels like our engines are really taking a beating with me flying this thing. Probably should stop trying to climb up this mountain then, huh? Oh, yep. Hit oh, the landing and... gear. Landing oh, God. gear. I'm pressing buttons. Oh, look at that. See? I intentionally landed perfectly. Look at that. Look at this perfect landing. How, why did I just get kicked out of my own vehicle, Saiba? I don't know. I didn't do anything. Fuck. Oh, my God. Um, how is your body doing? Not good. Well, that I think we did pretty good here. I think this was, uh, this was fine. This is fine. Oompa Loompas. So this is what the bottom God of the ocean damn. looks like. Ah! There is no safe for here. Oh no. <laughs> wow! Alright, General, I think that's about it on the, uh, on the Bombushka vid. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what do you, what do you think? Uh, I definitely like the Bambushka. It has a lot of potential. You know, I, I think so, too. Uh, any, any specific points you like about it? Uh, I like the amount of gunners you can have at once. Mm-hmm. And, uh the amount of bombs it can hold. Those are pretty fair points. I think that I like the fact that the uh, the turret on the nose can go 360 degrees. Uh, I like the um, explosive sniper, essentially, that you get on it. And then, on top of that, I like how uh, if you bomb someone and for whatever reason the detonation itself doesn't kill them, uh, damage over time from fire will actually completely uh, incinerate them, and I think that's uh, that's certainly a very, very intense and even might I say intimidating way of going. Uh, being burned alive after being blown up by gigantic, moving, essentially military base is what it looks like. It's not what it is, but it's what it looks like. Um, and I, I do realize we didn't really show off the cargo capacity, but we showed that, we previewed that in a couple other videos. If you guys would like a very specific video showing that off, let us know. Otherwise, I think we pretty much, uh, agreed that it's not super necessary. And you'll probably definitely most likely see us doing the Bombushka in, uh, other videos as well. Like, actually just using it for certain clips. Uh... Because it's one hell of a vehicle. It definitely brings the fire. Uh, you know. Uh, I think oh that's about God. it. What do you think, General? Pretty good? Pretty good? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Alright, guys. Well, this has been Zinium and General coming in at you live. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time.